is Yvonne Shasuvila and I am a HR professional for the last, I've been an HR professional for the last eight years and what I do is that I I help individuals navigate the recruitment process and I also, you know, on this other hand, help entrepreneurs, um, you know, with, with their recruitment uh, needs, basically bridging the skills gap. Today we are going to be discussing how we think about our people, how you can put uh, people first, transforming how we lead, and I'll be sharing also my, some of my personal experience um, experiences as we go. What does culture mean to you guys? When someone says like, in our culture, we do this. In our culture, we don't like when someone does that. In our culture, we love doing one, two, three things. What does that mean to you when someone makes such a statement? These are the things that would define culture, yeah? So it's a set of practices, of social um, behaviors, of tribes, habits that are, you know, that are formed to, to form a group of people to lead them to a, to a set desired um, outcome. So for, for a tribe, of course, there's no set outcome, but it just means the set outcome means that it defines you as a, as a tribesman, as whatever tribe you come from or whatever community you come from. So that's what culture is defined at. That's where it came from. This whole idea around um, culture, that's where it came from. So let's move on to, um, so what is work culture? So we've figured out like, okay, fine. It's a set of, you know, all these things that we've talked about habits. It's a set of, um, you know, ideas, jargons that we even have between our communities. So what now let's think about it as now let's transfer that information into a work setup. Yeah. So fine. We set up, um, we, ha we have, we've set up this company. Let's call it um, Yvonne Enterprises, yeah? And we've decided that we want to do landscaping. We want to come into these um, institutions and homes to be able to landscape. For instance, I've just picked something off the top of my head, yeah? And so you believe, you set, you be, you're saying, okay, fine. I want to go into maybe the current area. Uh, so you're setting up uh, milestones. You want to say, okay, fine. This is what I want for for to to for this Yvonne enterprise to have. I want my team to look like this, and the people who are within this team, I want them to look like this. I want them to behave like this. I want them to have these uh, personalities. Okay, fine, great. Um, the pro the procedures that I set within the organization, I want them to look like this. And even when I cut my flowers and cut everything that I need to cut within the, you know, as I as I do my landscaping service, I want what will be my after sale service what will what more will i offer that other people are not offering so as you're thinking about your 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 work as you're thinking about your organization those are the things that you're thinking about that will eventually form this company so it's not something that is just random even um i'm sure the cultures when they were initially formed i don't think it was something that was just random that you know, it, it, people just dropped from heaven and, you know, God placed people, poop, poop, you, you're a lawyer, you, you're a lawyer, you're a kiku, you know, I'm sure, or you're American or you're whatever, yeah? It was something that was, that that formed, people were, were able to relate to a certain thing and that pulled them towards that and they were like, hmm, I relate more with, with being a kiku, I relate more with this and, you know, and of course, uh, also depending on the region that you are in and what you fell into, yeah? So what I say is that, um, uh, a work culture is a set of values that really bring out, you know, a personality and character of an organization. Once employees feel like it's on your screen, comfortable, supported and valued, they are able to weather the storms and, chill and changes in the business and come out stronger. So these people are now able to fight for you. They're able to, you know, come out and, you know, even when things are tough, they're, they're willing to just stick it out with you. It's, it's like a relationship, really, a good relationship. Yeah, it needs nurturing. It needs care. It needs a lot of, um, you know, uh, it, it needs a lot of, a, a lot of work. Let me just say that, right? For it to build up to the point at which where you, you can actually say we are celebrating our 10th, our 20th anniversary, it's not a small feat. And it's the same with organizations. Building these things that are core to your to 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 the organization, which in aspect are values, coming up with values and really, you know, not just having meetings and say today we are going to we are thinking about um, starting our culture, and then you just you know give out uh, flyers and give out uh, presentations. There's a presentation and that's it because people will see through it and they'll be like, you know what, 
yeah they talk but they you know it's always they they it's not like we you know it has moved now from it's now not a we affair we are doing this together it's like they how wakubwa wanafanya hivi wanasemanga tu hivyo and then you know nothing really changes i know that happens a lot in organizations that um that i work with yeah so it's about going through it like and you know sticking with it whatever values you've decided that you're coming up with you're sticking with them throughout the processes in the organization engagement so engagement is when you know like an employee feels connected how the degree to which an employee feels connected to uh to an to a company right so it's it's the perception of what your employee has of your organization so what are some of these perceptions so perception that you know like um like for instance if i go to the hospital where i work it's very uh, the the it's the working cohesion is really great the bosses it's easy to talk to our bosses communication is amazing between us and our bosses or it could be the perception is that i here we are overworked and are paid you know those are perceptions so that is those are the engagements that i'm talking about so what we need to foster and to um, push our companies towards is creating a great positive engagement and that with that you know people become emotionally invested in your organization all of a sudden as i spoke in the last uh, slide i say that now you're moving from a me thing it's not about me it's about us so this is where everyone in the organization regardless of who you are what age you are uh what your sexual orientation is i know that's a bit controversial but like yes regardless of who you are you have a say yeah so number one, if for instance a company has uh 50 women they've had 50 women uh 50% sorry of women in an organization uh but none of those women are in managerial positions so is that company diverse or is it inclusive so you as josephin you as uh michael you as um the owner of this business who has started off as this uh business owner we need to understand what leadership is because you, because without you being a proper leader there's no way that you'll be able to instill these things into the into the the organization yeah so what is a leader A leader is someone who inspires others, you know, to to reaching a goal, right? So you're someone who is, you know, will will lead a pack of people with towards a common goal. Your common goal is what? Your vision, your mission, rather, yeah? A vision should be something of course that is almost unattainable or almost unreachable. Yeah, but that is what you're aiming towards because the goal is 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 I mean it's infinite like you're not really thinking that once you reach there uh-huh, then you stop yeah uh the the mission is more of achievable the vision is more of something that is you know like you're seeing maybe your great grandchildren might be able to achieve yeah so you're all aligned your 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 um what you are as a leader what you're supposed to be is an inspiration to these people you know you're able to speak to them and always guide them towards this vision that you hold of course this vision is really built around the values that you have set, sat down and thought about of course depending on whatever industry you're in yeah this vision is built around those values yeah so now aside from that fine you're an inspiration person but even as a leader there are many things that you come up with there are many things that um that i believe a great leader should have as well is something called awareness and not just awareness like self awareness but awareness of you know like even just to listen to what this person is saying what your staff are saying and what they are not saying establishing a clear vision for your culture yeah so now we've talked about this yeah we've mentioned that we need to think about some of these traits that we need our organization to have yeah so we are creating a clear vision now we are thinking about it sitting down and really thinking about okay fine this hospital what are some of the the values that i want to have do i want to have do, do i want one of my my pillars to be compassion do i want another one to be um I don't know. Yes, team building or or team cohesion. What are some of these things that you really want that you believe will move your company from point A to B? Yeah? So you need to think about the overall vision. Number 1, why you started this organization? What is your why? Yeah? Why did you start it? Yeah? What kind of people will help you to achieve that vision? 
Yeah, I think you learned, you probably learned that in uh, the previous session. And then also there's a lot to do with even the environment in which your, your company is in, the incentives that you give to your people. You know, think about these things. It's very important to do it even before you can bring these people in or if they're already in, it's something that you can now start to build, you know, over time. Another value is uh, work-life balance. Holidays are for family. We do not um, engage anyone when they are on holidays. We have flexible working schedules for some uh, because for some it's dangerous for them to be out, especially the sales team out very late in the night. But yes, for a lot of the time, we have flexible working hours. Um, we have, um, uh, and then again, of course, us as leaders lead this agenda so for instance i usually pick my kids up from school so that itself you know speaks something that when it gets to 3 p.m i'm not available you understand so the staff don't feel like it's just work 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 i'm there at five o'clock in the morning i'm leaving at eight o'clock at night no of course there are times for that there are times when it gets crazy and everyone understands and pulls in their weight when it when that time um, comes but usually we let everyone breathe yeah and then another one is compassion communicate with empathy listen with your ears and eyes we are moving from me to we i've talked about that smile say hello inclusion giving everyone a chance especially the quiet ones when they're in meetings you like you know jane i would like to hear what you have to say about this you know just including everyone in meetings and then also you know being curious yeah like uh just get taking time to know stuff about you know personal things about your employees you know how is that building going on the building project going on how are you how is uh lisa did she heal from that uh, broken arm and then you know just really trying to connect with your employees.